viewer wants you to explain what is stream loots in three minutes. What's that? You guys want to learn about stream loots? All right. If you're a streamer looking to grow your channel, create a bond with your audience, and increase some revenue, then Streamloots is the perfect solution for you. Hello everyone, I'm the King, and welcome on into the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can double your interactions with your streaming community, as well as increase some more revenue that you generate on your streams. By the end of this video, I'm going to hope to get you guys ready to improve your stream and turn your passion into something that you can actually build revenue on. I would also like to hear what you guys think about this in the comments below so please let me know and i'll be sure to read them all so with that being said let's go ahead and talk about streamloots and exactly what streamloots is streamloots is a platform with over 50,000 streamers it's using it to engage with their communities to create incredible fun moments for their channels and to monetize their streams the way that all of this is done are through cards that your community can play while you're actually streaming each of these would be different interactions that are tailored to your specific stream. Think about them like Pokemon cards that your stream can use in order to interact with you specifically. That's pretty cool. And the way this all works is actually really, really simple. You can go ahead and search for the game that you specifically play and use Streamloot original defined cards and toggle which ones you like the most. Put them on into your collection and then your community will be able to use this. But that's not the limit. You can literally make absolutely anything yourself and your imagination is the only thing that's going to be limiting you. Hair is where you can make infinite amount of cards with endless possibilities. I even had it tied up to my lights and even my wheels, a bunch of cool things and different ways that the community can interact with you. Now, once you have all of these cards set up and ready to go, viewers would then be able to earn or purchase these packs depending on what you want. And these will contain a set of cards that they can use. And after your viewers have these cards, they actually can click on them, redeem them and interact with you on stream. And that money goes straight into your pockets. The coolest part about this as well is that Streamloots offers you a lot more of a higher revenue share than other monetization platforms. So right now I'm sure you're curious about a lot of things and probably have a lot of questions. So we're going to quickly run through some things that are commonly asked and give you guys the answers to them. Now I want to make it clear and stressed on how much you can customize these cards and this can literally go to your mind is content. Whatever concerns you may have, for example, if you might feel that these cards may be over overwhelming and that these cards will be played way too rapidly in your streams. There are settings that can affect these things, such as cooldowns. If there's certain cards that maybe the community plays too much, you can make this into fragmented cards to limit the amount that are in circulation. You can also affect the rarity of cards so all the cards won't have an equal chance of being pulled from your deck, making it so that some cards are more difficult and more rare than others, while the other ones are more common. Again, the possibilities are truly endless and you can literally toggle this to your heart's content. Now, the second part is that you might see yourself as a small streamer and think, hey, this is really cool, but I don't have a big enough community where Streamloots would actually make a big impact, which is completely false. Any stream above three viewers can grow from Streamloots. In this sense, if you or your channel gets an average of about three to five viewers, then a significant amount of these viewers will actually be able to use Streamloots and interact with your community even more, allowing it to grow and to flourish. Not to mention, there's also a streamer section on Streamloots where people can notice you and find your streams and mess around with your cards there as well. And lastly, something that a lot of people are also concerned about is the amount of money that they may be asking from their communities. Sometimes you don't feel comfortable asking for such a high amount, and this is again where you have complete control over everything. You can set the price of every single pack to literally be as cheap as you want. You can also include discounts and coupon codes from time to time or in my case what i like to do is offer my community channel points in order to redeem it and then you can get your mod or yourself to give these packs or absolutely nothing it is again 100 customizable so now you're probably curious on how do we actually get started how do we start using stream loots in our streams and it's actually really easy and it takes literally five minutes to set up so i'm actually going to show you right here how simple and easy it is to do so all you need to do is to simply go and to create your page 
From here, you can log in with Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, depending on what you're using. In this case, we're going to be using Twitch. And once you sign in, it's going to ask you a few simple things, such as what country you are from. So we are from the United States. Once you accept the terms and conditions, you'll be prompted to the screen where it shows you to choose your dream collection, share it with your viewers, and earn more money than ever. We simply click start now and then it asks you basically some standard onboarding questions how many viewers do you have in my case i have an average of 150 we select the category of what game that we play and here is where it's very important because you might find the game that you actually stream and play you can simply type it in in my case i play dead by daylight so i clicked on dead by daylight and it gives me the dead by daylight collection if you are a variety streamer as well there are variety collections there's also just chatting collections and you don't need to specifically pick one once you actually get everything set up you can add more of these later on we're going to start with the dead by daylight collection for now and again you can add more categories as i said and then you can click on them so on and so forth so we will click on next step and from here, it'll tell us about the alerts and how we can actually get this set up. So what you do here is simply copy this widget and you're going to put this as a browser source on your stream elements or Streamlabs OBS, whatever you are using. It pretty much tells you down here and there's actually videos that show you what to do. And simply put, it shows you all of the cool cards that you can now get. So all you need to do is to accept the streamer terms and conditions, go to the last step, and this is where the fun part begins. You are now officially part of Streamloots. You have these amazing panels that you can show your stream, and this is going to be your unique link that you can show to your community so they can go ahead and check out your collection. So from here, you simply go to manage my collection, and now you will see that all of the cards are now completed and they're in your arsenal for your community to enter interact with. So simply, somebody just clicks on a card when they have them, they play the card, it'll pop up on your screen, and whatever the card says, you'll have to obey it. So for example, this one says mute all in-game sound. So if someone were to play this card, it'll pop up on your screen, and then you'll have to play with no sound. In the sense that if you don't like certain cards or you want to mess with them, again, as I mentioned, there is full custom ability. So all you need to do is simply, let's say, get rid of a card. You can simply delete the card, get it out of your collection, or if you want to affect anything else, you can go to the edit card section and here again is where you have full custom ability i keep moving my camera around so you guys can see anything but you can set the rarity of what the cards are the name of the cards the description of the cards what type of card of it it is if it's limited fragmented how many times can you redeem this what is the cooldown how many resources are needed for crafting and you can change the images the sounds the durations and the order that it is in and with this you're ready to start your amazing interaction with your twitch community and you're closer to turning your passion into an actual career the best part about this is that everyone's interactions can be completely unique and it really is again up to your own imagination about all the cool elaborate twists that you want to include with this there's a lot lot more that we haven't actually covered that stream loops can do which are huge mechanics that we can get into later such as the discounts that we mentioned the crafting modes and things like that but we'll go over those soon on future videos for now i would love for you guys to go ahead check out stream loops sign up with the account as you can see it took me literally like five minutes to get everything going i want to see how those interactions work on your stream so let me know in the comments below if you're going to be attempting to work with stream loots or if you already have and what the experience is like i would love to hear with that being said i am the king i tip my crown to you guys and we'll see you guys next time